Hi, John here. Today is Sunday, the 1st of May 2016. Now, just doing a, a rundown on uh, my case in the Auckland District Court on the 8th of May 2016 with my barrister, um, Shannon Withers. It's going to be complex for them to answer me coming from the King's Bench Court side, I'm going to prepare my case as if I'm the judge on the opposite end of the Queen's Bench Court. Now that I have the Chiefs of the Waitangi Marae as the King's Bench Court, with the Ship of Admiralty of King William and his flag, King William IV, his flag, sovereign, this flag here, flying on the crossbar opposite the British flag. That's been our partnership in commercial trading bank of England um, um, business. Still is today and it'll only take one of us chiefs to go to England to sever the contract and pick a new partner to King William IV which is his descendant, blood descendant King Ernest Augustus, King of Britain, UK. Still, he is the King of Britain, UK, Hanover, and also our King, that I'm swearing our oath of office to our documents that you see online now. I'm going to put a new site, website on Facebook, uh, um, King, King's Bench Sheriff, myself, John Wanna versus... Prime Minister John Key. Now he has to front up with what evidence he has to be a sovereign parliament sovereign with an oath of office to who? And that's the problem. He has to show he has a seal of the court, a seal of parliament and a seal of um, police to back up his judges in the court I'm going to. These are what I'm demanding that my barrister, I'm instructing as a King's surrogate, sheriff and creditor to build that a charge. The people involved that I've named in this case against me, <coughs> they have used the, the New Zealand Arms Act 1961 against me. Now I'm using the same act against them individually, persons, either corporate persons or natural persons. In this case, Detective Natalie Flower Dune Brown has stated herself as a private person in the in, in the corporate sense of a business corporation with the, the police, private businesses. She has gone in with that title and her friend uh, and constable has identified her as a natural person in a common law court. So she's caught in her own documents that she's constructed herself and she's not a lawyer or barrister. That's what I'm saying to my barrister. She's not qualified to have the law unto, unto herself, the police. They, they'll, they'll have to pay out of what I charge them out of that court, not that court, because its jurisdiction is not high enough to a King's Bench Court um, and of Admiralty. Now, since I have the chiefs in Te Te Marae and Waitangi Marae, behind what I do for their sake, for their hapu and their sovereignty, their own sovereignty of Ngāpui. <coughs> I have put on my main website on Facebook the videos there in order of how I have shown you and the court how I've gone on to the Marae and had all the confederation of chiefs there and also the Tomata, the elders, and the Fano Hapu, and you can see them arguing with me 
about how to tackle a problem as big as this. You had to have all the bits to it. And so far, they have not been able to get and penetrate into the bank side of mortgages, which is my family is involved with, the Logan judges and the Coast Grove lawyers. So that's what I'm, I'm, I'm going on. There's my own family's uh, background and, um, um, and connections to Britain and our own family with the Manukau family and, and now Kingi Taurua, the chief that I have support from on Waitangi Marae. On the other side of the treaty grounds we went to, I took him there to claim his Marae as a courthouse, a King's Bench courthouse. And he, he, he's doing that now with me with these documents authenticated these documents with the elders there, uh, with uh, Willie Pader and um, uh, Hoepa Ipiha uh, has put together 39 hapu marais to back what I'm doing on their behalf and left me to do my own court hearing in their marae and um, my own um, family Ututonga Ututanga, there on the Waitangi Treaty Grounds, and Titi Land Blocks. I have titles of those in my possession as well to back up that marae and its carving that belonged to my family at the East Cape on my Maui Ututanga Uetaha Land Blocks and Uaporotu Land Blocks there. The connection to that marae and Ngāpui. We are Tahitian and as well as Tainui is Tahitian as well. I'm, I'm only going on the history of East Island and, and Raiati Island where we came from in Mopiti Island, King Itaurua's um, 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 Whakapapa and his ancestors from Mopiti Island. That's all Tahiti. Uh, memorial Moai statue to the Pacific Islands from Tahiti and that's all I'm speaking for the Moai memorial to the Lane Ahu Whenua and the Hapu uh, chiefs and also King William the fourth our partner in business with these Admiralty mortgage lien laws that belong to us we have the, the chance to use them from 1830 to 1837, still locked in Institute Law in Westminster. So I'm saying today that watch this site until the 8th. I'll have everything as if I'm running the court myself as a King's Bench Court judge and sheriff at the same time to do the job in front of the judge and his uh, police uh, in, in, in the District, Auckland District Court on that date, the 8th of uh, May 2016. Now, as far as I'm concerned, the, the court has the seal of the Queen's head above the judge's head, and I question their authority and authentication of who they are representing and swearing the oath of office to is, is the Queen or not. And she's backpedaling into the back into Westminster, I'm going to go there and cut her off from coming back after leaving and abandoning ship. She wants to jump back on the ship now of Admiralty. That's King William IV that she's usurped all these years. Wrecked our land, took all the big native trees off it for their elite families to house them and, and, and to look nice and left our place in a mess. We have to build them for that now with this levy better note you see the pound note, uh, and we have the rights to do that, to, to levy debtor. Every person who has committed crimes under this New Zealand Crimes Act, and you'll see me pull out the acts that uh, Natalie Flower D. Brown broke. And one thing is, John Key's got his case in there and got up against them too for treason, and that's a punishable offence in the British military to come here 
in instructions from me, from my barrister, that the, the British military must come here and correct this on my behalf because they're our partners to recover all that the Queen's Bench Court has ripped out of our account. We're going to get it back from her Queen's Bench Court account and everything the Queen Elizabeth has derived illegally and fraudulently, still letting these pirates here in Wellington under John Key do what they want. And they are making a mess out of our Hapu lands and stealing everything for their private companies. And their interests are not with us. The Navy has not been there for us. They failed to go on Kororareka Hill and meet us and put our flag up with us. And they failed to come to Titi Marae on the 4th to renew the contract uh, with us to have occupation leases extended. After 182 years on Kororareka flag, 1834, 10th of March, 1834 was when they put the flag up there to occupy with mortgage on that land at Kororareka, Russell, in the Bay of Islands, New Zealand. So from that at Titi, they failed to turn up to honour the contract to Britain. They get their consent to be here from Britain. And from on the other side, on the Waitangi Marae, on the 15th of April 2015, uh, 16, they, did, they failed to turn up again to talk with us and the chief and the elders to see what they want to do about us putting the flag up on the ship mast, the ship of Admiralty with our flag sitting on the crossbar. We want to put that on the top. I'm going to make an uh, order um, to put it up for our chiefs to put it back up the top where it belongs to save this country and save Britain from these aliens like John Key and the Cabell and the, the elite from stealing it for themselves and their business. We're going to shut down their business and seize everything off them to pay for all the damage that they have done. Injured me in, in, injured me in this apartment here in Oruhu and took my shirt off my back with King William on it and his uh, eight point star, the New World Order, and his photo. Took the shirt off and his coat of arms, my authority as a king's surrogate to wear it and to proclaim that I am his partner in business that we have online now. There's enough information to say it's true. It's your word against mine and that's the law. You have not refuted anything I say. Police, Navy and Government and Iwi Maori have not refuted anything I have online. Therefore, it stands in truth that the shirt that they've confiscated and stolen is an offence punishable in that Act, the New Zealand Crimes Act of theft for political reasons and threat against our interests of land and our titles. They've taken something that belongs to me and my hapu chiefs. I wear that shirt on the marae in Waitangi and on the Waitangi marae and Titi marae with authority mandated from those chiefs. And Kingi Taurua, the main chief, the last man standing on his feet, the oldest out of the elders, is the chief of that Titi Marae and the Waitangi Marae King's Bench Court. So that's who I get my authority from him. And I also get my authority from King Ernest Augustus V, living in London, England is the ancestor to King William IV. I'm going there with Jamie and Marie Patrick Stewart to put the flag up in Devon, in, in, in Plymouth um, County, with the sheriffs there to uh, um, adhere to the King's um, sheriff and authority of um, Crown Monarchy. Salic law forbids any woman from succeeding 
on these titles. This title I'm using here for the King's Bench Court in Waitangi is male line only and it's Salic Law, S-A-L-I-C, Salic Law forbids any woman from succeeding to the throne or succeeding in titles transfer of the King line of title, right? So that's what I want to make quite clear, that we are operating under Salic Law, land laws of England on these title lands here in New Zealand under Maui Crown Sovereign Land Titles, um, British law and pound note currency um, values of land and our uh, authority um, seal of Maui statue and King William IV, him on his horse and his ship of admiralty in the background on our seal with the eight point star of the St. Patrick's Order, the New World Order. I'm claiming to be the New World Order, eight point star that the Vatican has usurped from Ireland uh, for his authority of admiralty, which he does not have of his own. We will seize everything that he has derived from the use of King William's authority and seal of Admiralty and we will seize everything off the Rothschilds, the Pound Note and the Queen's uh, estate business, 17 trillion worth of estate lands, 66 million acres of land in the world and we're just taking our first one out of the 66 million acres, bite of it on 77 Cook Street, originally 1 bar 61 Cook Street and 98 Wellesley Street now, and also the treaty grounds in Waitangi and the Waitangi land blocks and Tiki land blocks going back into King Itaurua's hapu there, Ngāti Kawa, Ngāti Rahi. Okay, so that's all the titles I have in place up there from um, uh, Tengaere um, Bay. Um, I've taken videos there of the chiefs where they met under the Pohutu Power Tree, that's connected to uh, Kororareka, the first mortgage, um, in 10th of March 1834, and then the second mortgage on Waitangi Treaty Grounds, and Te Te Marae on the 28th of October 1835, Declaration of Independence, the flag sovereign. That, so that the 1834 Whakaputanga flag, that's the chiefs of the eight tribes that met there and those that travelled by water to get around the coastline and into the harbour there, into the bay, into up the river and under the tree. So we have all that history in place to back the title memorials of King William and the Maui statue to us in our land in the Pacific Islands, the eight points of the eight point star, seven represents the seven wakas in the Pacific Islands and the one for Queen Victoria to default back to King William IV, the, the Queen Victoria Trust <coughs> defaults because the Queen corrupted the whole title and took it around the world. I'm, I'm going with Jamie to find where all that trade commerce went to in the Commonwealth. We're taking over the Commonwealth with this flag to save Britain from collapse in the EU Parliament that's ripping it apart. And I'm encouraging Britain to pull out of the EU Parliament and leave the Queen there. And we don't want her anymore. We'll get King Minister Augustus the bloodline to correct all the mistakes that the Queen made and use the pound note to pay for it all the debtor, all those elite families, you'll be losing everything and all the ones hiding away in New Zealand here are behind John Key. John Key, you, you will lose everything with this pound note, levy debtor's instrument against you, the debtor. Levy debtor, we're the cre levy creditor, Maui, King William the Fourth Sheriff in the King's Bench Court will boom straight off. 
<coughs> on my court hearing on the 8th, uh, 8th of uh, May, I'm expecting the judge to drop the case and to allow me to seize since them Cook Street, back off the landowners, and build at them with the pound note. They've got a trillion pounds each on their head, and it was going each day that they occupied our lands and didn't give it back. We are reoccupying our land as, by law, the same New Zealand Crimes Act laws applies to them, the alien, and us, the landlords. Original organic landowners with our organic allodial titles that we have enough proof online for you to see. I've just loaded up from 10 o'clock yesterday night till now, all day, all night, to put everything on the website, my main uh, Facebook website, for you to see that we are real and we are operating our business from the Waitangi Marae King's Bench Court. I'm operating online, the same as the King's Bench Court of Admiralty in London, Fetter Lane, Rolls Building, the court, High Court there, and they are all online. We can do our cases online, direct there, from anywhere in the world, in 250 countries we're going to with this flag. We're going to be going around because it has free passage for trade and commerce right through the world straight off. We don't have to negotiate with anybody. They can come and use the pound note and trade that way. Right? We have all that instruments of law to go in our court hearing to compare that with the alien King's Bench, Queen's Bench Court judge. He's going to, the first judge, um, Grant Fraser, found me not guilty. Innocent. He found me innocent of any charges. And then the police got up and said different. Not the one that injured me. Another one who stood up and started talking for Natalie Flaherty Brown. Natalie, you and you in Solomon Islands, if you're watching this video, you're going to be extradited back here by the judge who's doing the case now. I think it's the same judge that was doing it before. I just forget what his name's slipped my mind. He was the judge that was there last time I had a hearing with him and he was reasonable enough to me because I'm using the barrister. He said that the best thing i ever done is use the barrister. Well, I'll use the barrister because it's the right thing to do in that court. While it's in the Queen's Bench Court, you follow the rules. I'm following the rules on their side. I'm following the rules on our side as well. They'll have to watch how I do the King's Bench Court, just opposite him sitting on the other side. In another court, I'll go in another court and take it up from Waitangi Marae King's Bench Court. That's the real prevails. When conflict between law of Tikanga Maui law and New Zealand law clashes, the Tikanga Maui law prevails. That's what's happening here. I'm proving that we can run an efficient law system of admiralty with the ship beside our marae on the treaty grounds. That's our ship um, that we've confiscated from the um, um, New Zealand government because it's using it and they've put a, a title on that land as crown title. We take everything crown, that from the Queen crown to the King crown came from in the first place and got them on these lands in the first place was King William's title and his crown sovereign authority. So um, I'm preparing myself today. I've just seen Jamie online. Jamie, my business secretary, private secretary, she'll be learning a lot from me how to do these court cases and how to do finance banking with pound notes and getting those ready to be released onto the uh, market um, with the first um, pound notes from Cook Street once I get that going uh, very soon. The sooner I can get onto there, the sooner I can get all the revenue in for you people who want an alternative place to go safe with the King.
your snake working. You can claim all the facts that I'm recovering um, back as members and join as members and put a few three three five pound share in what I recover with the people, the people, the, the, the common law people of the world. This is a world that that we're doing in legal sense. The the highest that you can ever go is the king, and that's where I'm operating from. Um, I'm happy to say that I am prepared to go in to the court um, as a victim of injury from that side of the court bench. Their agents have are uh, incompetent police doing a job as a lawyer, not a not a qualified person to be doing a lawyer's job drafting documents that she used, the police detective woman used to arrest me with. That's fraudulent, forged documents. I'll show you what she did to me. I think I've already got some of it online where she forged the names and capital letters legalese that no one will ever do that but a policeman and the judge and the lawyers. They know their game, how they make money for themselves and their businesses. They failed to um, to address our, our concerns about our land, what they're doing with it, fraudulent means of, of, of deriving money, um, illegally breaking their laws and and breaking the treaty laws. That's that's the Queen's side of the contract. Queen and Iwi are uh, breaking their own laws and they're breaking our king's laws. The worst thing of all is to break the king's laws. We can hang for that. And that's what can happen to you, John Key. And the Queen, you're heading for the hanging rope. That's, that's the extreme of punishment for breaking people's lives up and busting their country and assets and resources and taking all the profit out of it and poisoning the food, the water, the, water, the skies and killing the animals, the people, the vaccinations and, and chemtrails and fracking and all, all the earthquakes and everything like that. That's your business that we're billing against that 970 million trillion trillion pound note. It's coming out, out of your accounts personally. That's what Pope Francis said. Get your land back and make them pay individually. You're liable. Each individual policeman is liable with a warn Aaron Pasco, detective. He's another one. He was the first one that that came in as a third party to protect those land land uh, lawyers, the conveyancing lawyers, protecting their businesses and, and those landowners, Doug Ricard Ballon on one bar sixty one Cook Street. And now there's James Pierce Brown and Simon Brent Brown Tree, the owners of the seventy seven Cook Street and ninety eight Wellesley Street properties. We're going to seize off them. That's what I we can therefore legally to seize them. They've got to pay out a lot of money for injuring me. Forty people were involved in that third party transaction uh, to, get, to, to get me arrested. They all are in it. They get a trillion pounds each on their heads and the balance of what we recover from them, the Queen hacks the rest of the bill. She's, her account takes care of the rest of the shortfall in what we recover from those people I named. Your name in the box online on these Facebook sites and on our website. You'll see John Key in there with those landowners on our mypowerhouse.com website. It's all in there. I put everything on there on the fraud and the TPPA and all the uh, flag issues are in there where they threaten our sovereignty of our flag and our king, William IV. And that's treason, amounts to treason on John Key. And I'll put all that on site today and tomorrow and the next day until you can see an outline of a court case against John Key for start, John Key's first up, then the two landowners that I just mentioned, and then the police 
Priest, Aaron Pasco, Tim Duffy, and Natalie Flower Dear Brown, who ran away to Solomon Islands to hide from all this um, reveling at her. She had to come back and speak herself about how she did it, um, getting her to disclose what authority she used to arrest me and what, what experience has she got to make those documents that she fashioned herself and put into words and forged the statements of mine and the, the witnesses, put them into legalese, that means put them into capital letters as persons, um, 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 fake persons with, uh, uh, to make them not a natural person and then use those to hide them in corporate businesses so they can cancel them later. Everybody that's in that system is going to get a bill. No matter what, if you've got corporations and trusts, <coughs> the Pope says you'll get a bill. You invoice your account on that company or your person, your private person and your personal person's name and surname will get a bill. And you, if you can't pay it, we just take everything you've, you've got in your name and we'll track it to where you've got all your investments around the world. We'll have other countries pay them with pound notes to recover it. The, the British military will get a pound note for 10 years paid to recover everything. I'll just write the note of the pound note out to them and they'll have to, they are our partners, they, they will want their cut as well for doing that. And the British um, government, we've got a Commonwealth government started up, uh, started it all up and it will operate in Devon. Court, England and Plymouth County Court. So it's going to be our King's Bench County Court there with the sheriffs. You people in Devon will uh, be coming there with Jamie and we'll set up the court systems there and in Glasgow in Scotland. That's where the titles here came from, Scotland, Glasgow, the Manukau land titles here in Auckland and up north the Manukau titles stretch up there and down the Waikato as well in Kaipara and Auckland. So those, I'll be administering those over there in Scotland with our um, people we've got there. We've got some friends now we've met online. They'll be working with us. They're already working now with us. And um, also Jean Odin in uh, uh, USA. She's working with us to do America. It's owned by Britain. So it'll be the same system. She's in with her family in Switzerland and Ireland where I'm going to as well with Jamie Patrick being a Patrick herself her father is a Patrick so that's the Patrick Irish part of the eight point star of the new world order is Patrick's family that's why she's there with me and me the Maui statue Wano um, Ueta Uetanga Ututonga blood guides in, in Waitangi and that marae, I must all say that's my marae and Kingi Taurua's land underneath it there, that's what I'm saying I'm making that statement to you people and up in Waitangi that that marae, I'm very much in, inside that marae whenever I want that's what the, the um, uh, Waitangi National Trust said, we can't stop you coming into that marae and that's the reason why it's my family that made the carvings in that whole marae belongs on our land blocks to Utu Tonga Uta Maui Wano land blocks Marangaro land Marangaro marae there straight to East Island and that's the end of that lot um, so that's all I want to say for now other than that I'm just a bit tired from working all night on this and uh, I'll try to get as much done and put online so you can um, get something out of it and learn, learn how land titles work uh, for you and not for the rich people that have been scraping everything out of it. They'll, they'll lose everything. They'll go, there's a lunacy act. I think that's what they're going to end up being lun lunatics. 
which they are anyway, people like Obama, going mad with um, throwing things around the place. Um, so uh, that will do for now, and uh, we'll see you later, and enjoy your day as much as I will. Enjoy finishing this off and getting it done so I can get on with it in, in England and Britain, uh, Scotland, and get the turbine. Turbines I see in Australia, they're starting to do the, the wave um, pulse turbines um, under the sea. It's a similar principle to what I'm doing. I don't know where they got that idea from. They've probably been looking at what I'm doing and using the pressure, the high pressure at the bottom of the ocean to push, push the water onto land with hydraulic turbines. So that's another one of our big projects that we're going to be the first to get the hydrogen passenger planes in the air. That's part of, of our travel um, um, projects uh, to get around the world quicker. And uh, that'll be not too far away when we get Cook Street going. That'll get going. We'll deal with the British military first up and pay them so that they can work direct from Devon, uh, from King William, William Yard, where we're going to set up. Beside his memorial, they put the flag, this flag here, they put this flag here on his land beside his memorial. In his um, title, we will promote there and around the world in 250 countries on our website, monarchdark.com. Okay, thank you very much, everybody. Have a nice day, and we'll see you again soon. Bye. John, one off.